Okay, good morning. It is a uh, Monday morning. It was a breezy, blustery day yesterday. A few scattered showers, depending where you were, but pretty breezy for a lot of spots. Um, and some big surf along the California coast. Last couple of days, right? We had troubles in Santa Cruz uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday with big surf and people going out on um, maybe not prepared for it and the tide's high enough, it's hard to get in. And so they had to make a lot of rescues along the cliffs down by uh, Capitola uh, the last couple of days, especially I think it was Saturday was the day. So it's like I keep saying, it's swell this time of year is not to be trifled with. So if you're not real good at uh, being in the ocean and you're not, you're kind of maybe intermediate or less, it's a good time to stay away, even in the easy spots. Um, and then the potato patch outside Golden Gate Bridge broke. I got some video of that. I was up in the headlands riding a bike and just watching the wind and the rain and what it was left of the, the weather system and uh, looked out into the kind of southwest and the, the patch was going off. And that doesn't break that much. You know, that's a, that's a at least a mile offshore, maybe a little more. It's deep water sandbar. You picture the Golden Gate Bridge, right? All that sediment goes out through the Golden Gate Bridge, all of it, all, you know, from the Sacramento Valley, from this, from the, all the river, Sacramento River, Feather River, uh, you know, the, yeah, gosh, what's the other river? I just spaced it. Uh, the, the, the McCallamy, a lot of rivers feed into the San Francisco Bay. And so all this sediment comes out and then it drops and settles in these sandbars. That's why Ocean Beach is such a good surf spot because the lateral drift carries the the sediments down there and create sandbars, but a lot of times it just deposits straight outside the gate. There's kind of a shelf out there that it accumulates on, and it's got to be big for it to break. Not surfable. It was windy yesterday, gusts up to 40 miles an hour. So um, just sort of an interesting thing. You don't see it break all the time. Maybe, I'll bet the patch breaks maybe, gosh, I think in a good year, maybe three times. I, I might be wrong on that, but that's my anecdotal experience. Okay, so we're going to get right to national weather because there's this is that map we like. I, well, I like it. I'll bet you you're getting to like it because you can look at it and go, oh, man, there is stuff going on, right, and across the country. So if I'm traveling, I'm like, what's going on down here in, in West Texas? They're having fire issues down there, wind advisories, fire concerns, red flag warnings, fire, wind concerns in the Carolinas where there are already some fire issues down towards the south, down towards Mississippi and Alabama, so, you know, it's not just California right now. And then behind this wind are blizzard warnings, snow advisories, uh, winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, right? So it's sort of a, a, it's an interesting juxtaposition. As this front where the rain and the snow gets closer, that's why the winds are being created. So you have really strong winds in these areas down in Texas and so forth. So something to think about there. Um, and then Southern California, Central California, some wind, some wind advisories up and you can kind of see it as you look in there. We will take a peek at the surface isobar map. This is the whole United States. This is sea level pressure and precipitation, GFS. And I just wanted to, cause we're I was talking about wind, right? And I wish it's so hard to see the continent, right? I'm going to, I'll put a box on what I want you to look at. But this is the central part of the country. And look how close those lines are together. So this is a forecast model. So it's windy now. Stay, look, it tightens up a little bit in Texas. Tightens up a little bit, stays windy. And then it starts to rain. That helps fire concerns. But it's still a windy ass storm. Look at that. Look at this. Look at how tight the pressure gradient is. So really, really windy conditions with this storm and before this storm. And that's the isobars getting closed together and then they open up, right? And so it's not as windy. So I just want you, a lot of wind, the planes. This next system has a lot of wind too. Hmm, okay, we'll keep an eye on all that for you. But that's just, a, I thought we could make use of our sea level pressure map. Um, and show you not just what it looks like on the West Coast, but what it looks like in the, the central part of the country. So what do we got here? We got the uh, water vapor loop and there's California and next weather system comes in here kind of on Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll get to that. We'll take a look at it. Surf stays big next couple days and then drops and then goes back up. So it's a very active Pacific out here. All these spinners out here are creating surface winds, which are creating waves. And so when you see that much activity out in the Pacific, you go, okay, there's swell coming. It may not come today, it may not come tomorrow, but it's, it's coming. Um, it is actually kind of showing up today. And a little bit tomorrow, it drops the next 48 hours and comes right back up. Here is the visible satellite. I like this because you can see um, 
pretty clearly where the fog or the clouds are. You can see the snow in the Sierra. Hmm, not a lot going on really, right? Some clouds in, down around Big Sur. So there's California. I'll put a loop around that as well. Here is the water vapor loop. If you watched yesterday, we talked about the spark and the fuel, right? So this is, this, this is the fuel, right? The spark is the vorticity or the energy. The fuel is the moisture. This is precipitable water, GFS model. And what you're looking at, just look for the blues, right? And here's California, put a loop around it. And I just want you to see why we're not gonna get deluge. We got rain coming, a storm series, but none of the storms really phase in. See how that blue stays offshore? That is on Tuesday into Wednesday. That's showers for sure, but it's not three inches of rain. It's a quarter inch, half inch of rain. And then the next one phases in here and barely. And you can see that's, that's a tenth of an inch of rain, just no rain. And then here comes the next area of moisture. It gets sheared apart moves into Southern California on, gosh, a week from today. And that looks pretty good for the fire zones. That's, that would be a, a significant amount of rain, a half inch of rain. Just, I'm just estimating. Um, and then you can see, but what I'm getting at here is, as we go through time, there's our first real taste of an atmospheric river potential, and that's March 16th. And that doesn't even look good. So and that, that looks more aggressive here, this line. But you see what we were looking at, right? So without the fuel, and that is this, without the fuel seeping for north and phasing with the, the energy from the troughs, the, 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 the engine, you got nothing. Or you have something, but you don't have the rain that you want to get to fill the reservoirs, to fill the aquifers. You have rain, Some, sometimes more nuisance rain than not. And that's what's going to happen. Appears, well, let's see, this is this week. Sea level pressure lines, and then the areas of color represent rain potential. So here we are now. This is Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moisture kind of phases out. It's there. So Tuesday, it looks like a few light scattered showers, right? I backed it up. Look at that. That's not much, though. A few light scattered showers. Then south of here, down towards Santa Cruz, Big Sur, and even Santa Cruz, or pardon me, San Jose, this is Wednesday morning. Hmm, that looks good. That looks good. I mean, right? That looks okay. There's a little, a little moisture got hooked into that. So that's uh, Wednesday afternoon. Well, it starts on Wednesday morning. So Wednesday south of Santa Rosa looks like it could be a, probably our wettest day of the week. Let's do that. And then there comes a secondary system that's on Thursday afternoon. But see, it faces south. Not a lot of moisture. Not a lot of, not a lot of sustained wet and then breaks for a while and then here comes something a little further south that looks like it's got water that's uh 12 that's monday morning and that's monday that's a week from now and we already we already kind of did see that okay so yeah so then let's see if just kind of now we're just in fantasy land but okay those look more typical see how they're just hitting the north so this week looks kind of hit or miss. There's nothing really, you, you see the opportunities I showed you, you see that they don't really phase with moisture. So the rain we get is going to be kind of not, not too intense. So I'm going to back that up because I might have gone through that too fast. Sorry. Let's just look at, let's just go through the next um, 48 hours. I did something interesting and I did a podcast with Tommy Tolbert, who's a good friend. And it's funny because he's a radio guy and radio guys are used to like talking for a long time. And so I watched the podcast and I'm like, oh, because I'm not used to talking for a long time. I'm, to, I'm used to like no dead air. Got to go, got to go, got to go, got to go, right? That's TV. You can't, you can. I was, people thought I'd move pretty slow, but TV is sort of like you got to go. But I was watching Tommy and we were watching. I go, oh yeah, he's just chilling. He's just, he's not even on radio or TV. On TV, you're always on TV, right? You kind of got to go, go, go. Because um, we, the, the weather hits were two and a half minutes long. These weather hits sometimes go 18 minutes long because they're a little bit of everything. But um, so I have to learn. I'm going to try to learn to maybe just give, let it breathe a little. But I also like the speed too because that's, that's the coffee probably. Okay, so back. Let's just, get, let's just dial in exactly what's going to happen in the next 48 hours. So tonight, nothing. Tomorrow, there's Tuesday morning. There's Tuesday afternoon. Tomorrow, it clouds up. Slight chance for a sprinkle. And... In Southern California, now you're getting in on it. This is Wednesday morning. LA, you're getting some rain, scattered showers. Bay Area, 
by Wednesday afternoon, you're getting a few scattered showers, but light. LA, you're gonna get a quarter inch, maybe a little bit more, maybe a half. Nah, probably a quarter. But that's so, and that's on um, Wednesday. And then a little residual after that, and then we're dry for a while. So really through the next weekend looks dry. So we'll watch it. Let's, let's revisit it tomorrow. Here is the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. Let's see if I can get that in there, right? Uh, there, there's Golden Gate Bridge. There is the bay, the ocean, no fog. Let's take another alert camera. We're gonna look at, this is, oh, this is kind of hometown. This is Chico. Uh, I can't really see Chico here, but Chico is, let's see, that's 255. Chico's kind of up in the corner over here. So, um, but you, if you live in the valley, but that's the valley, that's kind of, I grew up up the, up the hill, right behind this camera by about 10 miles up the hill. Um, up in paradise so beautiful day there and things are starting to turn green that's temperatures today in chico are going to be in the mid 50s upper 50s this is santa barbara and santa barbara numbers are going to be 64 65 there's a lot of wind uh, not just in the midwest where we showed you the wind warnings but there's a lot of wind along our coast as well like we pointed out the wind in um that I saw last night up in uh, Point Reyes, or towards Point Reyes. This is Malibu, Malibu, and up the hill a little bit, and then you can see some of the surf. They got some swell down Southern California as well. Temperatures in San Diego, Los Angeles proper, mid-60s. A little further south, San Diego area, you may get 67. And then this is Mavericks this morning, the wind, uh, the, the wind, when it gets blowing like it did yesterday, like I said, it was blowing like 40 knots or something. When it gets blowing like that, it takes the ocean and just mixes it up. And it, even though it's not horribly windy right now, Jeff, it's not horribly windy right now, it, it, it um, takes a while for the ocean to, to settle down. You'll see that here at Ocean Beach, see how mixed up it is. Ocean Beach, Mavericks is like 15 foot, 10 to 15. Ocean Beach is like 10 to 14 today. No, no bueno, not, not a good time to go out at all. Um, and it's going to drop next couple days, the swell, it comes down. But remember this thing about the ocean. There's a big swell. Today's kind of big. Next couple days, kind of small. But outside behind tomorrow is, um, let's say, Thursday, Friday, there's a bigger swell coming. So it's this little, this swell that's going to be smaller more sandwiched in between swells. And so the big swell pushing in, will push through the smaller swell. So if you're going out tomorrow expecting four to six, I would expect, you know, six to eight on the sets. And the next day, it'll even be bigger than that, maybe eight to 10 on the sets because those, the, the swells kind of creep through each other. So the big swell will push ahead. This is San Onofre. You can clearly see the wind here. And a little bit of water color change. Do you ever notice how the water gets changed up? That's a lot of times has to do with tide, obviously. Water comes up, grabs the sediments off the beach, comes out, the water gets a little browner, but the wind stirs, the surface wind stirs up the bay, especially the shallower areas, and they get sediments in it, so it's, a lot of stuff stays suspended. So, what do we just say? Yeah, kind of low-grade stuff this week. I think um, the big weather story is going to be just kind of a consistent series of weather events through this week into the next week. Kind of what we talked about, but right now, the reason none of that seems big, more on the end of nuisance showers, is that nothing's phasing with the moisture. No, I shouldn't say that. Right now, the models are saying that not, the moisture is not gonna phase in with the, the spark. Now, we'll see how long that lasts. Okay, today's uh, Monday. Thank you for hanging in. Um, thanks for telling a friend, be awesome. Um, you guys are growing this thing pretty quick, which is fun. Appreciate all the comments. Um, what else? I have to, oh, super fun. I'll have to talk about retirement stuff down the road because it was super fun. We had a big party that night and it's just fun to see everybody. Mark Banyas came in and Julie was there and Heather Holmes and Garcia. And it was it's just nice. It's nice, especially that late at night, right? 1130, 12 o'clock. All right. I'll see you back here on tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice day.